right, this video is to present just a few more examples on U substitution, just showing a few different things that can happen. So we're going to just do a few problems. So the first problem I want to look at is the integral of the cosine of the square root of x over the square root of x. So it's not necessarily obvious how to start this problem. Um, one form that it might match is cosine of u du, and that's what ends up working. So kind of the goal here is to get it so that it's cosine u du, and it might not be obvious at first that that's going to work. Um, if you're going to match that form, u has to be the square root of x, which is x to the 1 half. du then is 1 half x to the negative 1 half dx, which simplifies to 1 over 2 square root of x dx. Because of that, we're going to be able to get this to work by splitting this into cosine square root of x times 1 over the square root of x dx. The algebra there is that cosine square root of x over the square root of x is the same thing as cosine square root of x over 1 times 1 over the square root of x. So we're allowed to split that because when you multiply fractions, you just go straight across. And then I'd put cosine square root of x instead of cosine square root of x over 1. Okay, so the 1 over square root of x at the end of the problem is almost the du that we want. But we need a 2 with the square root. So you put 2 there. And so now what really happened to go from the top line to the next line is even though we put a 2 in there, what we're doing is multiplying by 1 half because the 2's in the bottom. So if we multiply inside by 1 half, we multiply by 2 outside. That means we've now got 2 integral cosine u du. Antiderivative of cosine is positive sine. And so we get 2 sine of u plus c, which is 2 sine of the square root of x plus c. This is a type of problem that works well. Um, it's a type of problem that you need to get used to trying various things on. So rather than watching me do seven examples of different things that can happen, I am going to do a couple more, but rather than watch me do a bunch of stuff, it's really important that you practice problems like this, where there's more than one legitimate approach. So in the handout, advanced substitution one. That handout is if we were in an in-person class that's a handout you would work in groups and I'll email you about how that's going to work but you would work on that in groups for an entire class period and so you you will have solutions to that handout you do have solutions to that handout it's real important though that when you're doing that handout you try the problems yourself without looking at the solutions first that's the best way to get good at approaching problems like this where it's not necessarily entirely obvious how to start the problem. I'm happy to help you in office hours and things like that, but um, you really should try the problems first. Um, I wanna look at another problem where you end up solving for x, and so this is a little bit weird. Um, so let's say I've got the integral of 3x square root of 4x minus 1 dx. And so this problem is not one where there's an obvious u substitution, but what works here is to let u equal 4x minus 1. And then du is 4 dx. The reason it's not obvious that this is going to work is because of the extra x outside the square root. But here we're able to do something to fix that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to first go ahead and get the du at the end of the problem. So I'm going to put... Four next to the dx. That gets me the du that I want. The 3, I could have gone ahead and pulled that out or, or not. It doesn't matter. But now that x outside, because u is equal to 4x minus 1, we can actually solve that for x. And so u plus 1 is equal to 4x. And then x is u plus 1 over 4. 
So I can replace x with u plus 1 over 4. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the 3 out. The x I'm going to replace with u plus 1 over 4. And the square root part, I could do that, but I don't need to because 4x minus 1 is equal to u. Now, that doesn't look at all like a basic form, but there's some simple algebra you can do here. So we've got 3 fourths outside. I can pull the 4 on the bottom out as a 1 fourth. And then I've got u plus 1 times the square root of u, but square root of u is u to the 1 half. Now if I distribute the u to the 1 half, I can split this into two integrals and the problem works. So I get 3 16th integral u to the 3 halves plus u to the 1 half du. I split that into two problems. and do the power rule on both. Oops. That gets us, uh, let's see, so 3 over 40 times 4x minus 1 to the 5 halves plus 1 over 8, 4x. Okay, and so just real quick, the way I'm doing the fractions is 3 over 16 times 2 over 3. The 3's cancel and the 2 and the 16 cancel, so that's where I'm getting the 1 8th. Something similar on the other problem. Um, 3 over 16 times 2 over 5, the 2 and the eight, 16 cancel, and I get an 8, which is where I'm getting the 3 over 40. And back up here, that's an 8, that's a 1, and these cancel completely. Okay, so that's a technique that doesn't always work. Um, it's something that can be done. It's something I usually do last. So if I can't get anything else to work out, then I might try to solve for x and sub in. It happens to work here. Um, this is really something where you need to practice a lot of problems, and I'm happy to practice uh, via Zoom with you if you want more practice problems than what I've got for you. But you've got the next handout is Advanced Substitution 1. There's a large number of problems on there. You do have solutions, but please try the problems and then look at the solutions. Try to figure them out. Try a couple of approaches before you go straight to the solutions. All right, that's actually it for this video. Um, I will see you on the next one. Thank you.